In a world where you need audio heroes, several nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a crisis on infinite podcast. <laughs> I wasn't recording the whole time. Really? No, I'm joking. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. I was like, not oh, again, no. Kevin. Like, oh, not I again. Like, I'm a breath halfway through. <laughs> not for the fifth time. I don't oh, like that. Gosh. Quit playing games with my heart. You're Bruh. fired, Kevin. My favorite part of that is that I was just saying doo-doo the whole time. Oh, yeah, doo-doo. Doo-doo. All, all about that doo-doo is oh, in that Game of Thrones. Yeah, doo-doo. So, finally, guys, we did it. We made it to Game of Thrones. <laughs> we did it, everybody. <laughs> We uh, do. Uh, the Stark flag is hanging high in the crisis cave right now. Yes. <laughs> House Stark. House Stark, baby. House Stark. Oh, it was House Crisis. Oh, House, House Infinite. House Crisis. We need to get a flag and make one like Wait, that. Wait, are we House Crisis or House Infinite? I feel like if we're House Crisis, it sounds like we're in a crisis. But if we are House Infinite. And it's just an infinite loop. This is the eight, the yeah. sideways eight. Oh, I think we need to find out the old English word Who's for Who's designing crisis. this? Uh, Alex, it's all you. All right, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> make us a flag. Pen and paper right now. <laughs> I have Illustrator. But do it. my name's Hoodie. I'm Kevin. I'm Javi. And I'm Alex. And you are listening to a Game of Thrones convention packed episode of Crisis, Crisis on, on Infinite, Infinite Podcast. Why do you think Javi all sexy like? <laughs> Javi, ooh, I'm, I'm Javi. Hey. And he moved, he moved his hips too, which kind of was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know it. Um, guys, awkward. I'm really proud of this. I got a, a, a new addition to our Crisis Cave. Oh, who um, is it? It is a K2SO's action figure. Hey. Thank you. And up, uh, we finally got is the Black Series one. So Black Series Star Wars toys are like the hard to come by ones. They're mm-hmm. like fifteen bucks. You know, a little bit more expensive than those six dollar ones. True. And he looks like a boss. He looks super scary though. He was staring at me. He's the whole our time. protector of our cave now. I, he brought this into the studio, and I thought it was a, a which I'm gonna call it a voodoo doll. Oh, I thought it was a me- I thought, I thought it was a <laughs> Who Black knows? Panther. There could be some hair in this. I don't know. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it was a belly brand Black Panther. Oh, what the heck is wrong with that Black Panther <laughs> figure? <laughs> but coming up on the show today, we got a lot of stuff to talk about regarding conventions. D23 happened last week. Comic Con is now. It's literally right now. Um, we It's okay, Kevin. We'll cry a little bit later. Um, we also have tons of stuff about Star Wars. Uh, Destiny 2's beta came out. This is coming out this weekend, too. And just a, bit, a little bit of, you know, just getting ready for Comic-Con in the aftermath of that. Ooh. So, where do you guys want to start off first? Do you want to start off with uh, some Disney? Some Disney Actually, magic? I've heard that we're in the running for a certain... Oh, yes. Uh, Are we running? The more important do thing than any of those other things, <laughs> at least for us, and maybe for you, because you're listening, and you care about us, right? Yeah, we do. So, officially, all... F- well, not all four. All four of us, because we are part of the same show, <laughs> and you, the hashtag Crisis Crew, and, and Eric, and Tully, and all our guests, we've had Jordan Peele, you know, our homie uh, John Wesley Ship. You know, yeah. oh yeah, the best friend, best, best friend, friend, best yeah. friend of the podcast. You know it. We are nominated for a podcast award, everybody. Hey! I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. We I'm proud it. of us. All this of little, us. this little baby venture Kevin and I started on, little talking podcast. about the Flash. True. <laughs> we're doing it. We're making it. That's funny. Actually, our first episode was really just about DC TV. We talked about nothing. And now we're and nominated we for something. So we are officially <laughs> in the running for the podcast awards, and that's actually what it's called. Um, 
and we want you guys to actually help us. Um, it's a people's choice category, so all you literally have to do is vote for us, uh, click a little tab, click our little box, mm-hmm. and then say, I want them. We're in the game and hobbies category for the podcast awards. Um, it will be on our Twitter at infinite underscore pods. It's also a link in our bio for Instagram. I feel like a YouTuber right now. Yeah. <laughs> link down in the description like below. So subscribe, <laughs> below. subscribe below. Subscribe <laughs> below. <laughs> think of how awesome that would be that you actually get an award and it looks pretty sick. It's like a, fo- a glass phone with a little, the little wireless symbol coming out wow. of it. Wow. Think of that award. Just all that, all the, that etching they'd have to do for our crisis on infinite podcast on it. Uh-huh. And it'll be our award. We'll, we'll travel to each one of your houses and let you keep it for one night. Mm. Awkward. But yeah, we just want to say <laughs> thank you for getting us to the point that we're actually nominated for this. Yes, thank um, you. They actually had to like scan through our podcast briefly to say think if we were considered enough. You had to have like 10. But hey, you know what? We got 39 ads of this episode. Exactly. Yagadi. Yeah, we are featured on the front page of Spreaker.com. Yes, Spreaker.com. We're featured on there. Yeah, got you. We Doing featured somewhere, things. everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but here's what you have to do to vote. And this is just a little housekeeping to get before everything else. Um, just go to Podcast Awards website, which is, I believe it's Podcast awards.com simple uh-huh. as that um, you just have to sign up to vote with any and all of your emails because you could sign if you got like five emails hey, yo, that's five separate votes we'll take it we'll take it I'm not we're not we're not help we're not cheating it's you have five different votes so it counts yeah. um, and just sign up for that and then we are in the games and hobby category because it started off as a hobby for Kevin and I Yes, and the, and entertain. We talk about everything, so we figured games and hobbies made sense because yeah. as games and ho- our hobby is that we watch TV all the time. True. So that's why we're not television category. Oh, I'm just a sad, lonely person. I don't know which one. Of <laughs> and then no. once you do, all right. <laughs> just post on at infinite underscore pods or mention any of us, and we'll just party it up with you. Yeah, because you deserve a high five for that. And then nominations end on July 31st. So we got like what, 11 days to win this thing? Yeah. Hey, it's already end of July. It's crazy. Or at least just be called a nominee. That's cool. We're podcast award nominee, podcast award nominee winner. I don't know. Think of that. Podcast <laughs> awards nominated podcast. Or a podcast awards <laughs> nominated podcast. <laughs> Man, say that five times fast. That's okay. But or just you know podcast award winning pod. Oh, that's ooh, that sounds a lot better. Ooh. So just make sure you vote, and you know we'll have a lot of fun just celebrating with you. But what we're here for to talk about all the nerdy news you need to know about. See all those uh, little N and. K's the alliteration <laughs> there. Um, so, we want to talk about the Disney magic first? Yeah, make yeah, that Disney make, magic. All right, so you want to talk about movies, TVs, or video games first, and then Disney magic? Hmm. Let's see video games. All right, video games. So, yep. Javi, you and I have notoriously said that a certain game wouldn't be coming out for a while. And for a while, we we didn't think it and would. for a while, especially at E3. Yeah. We were like, this ain't happening. Yeah, I was like, hey, there's a show. But, Javi, no. what got announced for... Well, it's been announced, but what <laughs> has been as a date? It's, it's semi. What it's semi now date. has a date and an actual level that was announced at D23? Uh, I think we're talking about One Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Woo! No one else is excited besides this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just excited because you guys kept talking about it for so long about how it wasn't going to be made. I'm happy for you guys. <laughs> I'm happy yeah. for you over there. When I saw the tweet, I was like, oh, we're going to hear about this. <laughs> and one of the funniest things is that I was talking to my friend about it, and he has been hyped for this game. Like, he pre-ordered it years ago. Like, I think two years ago. And oh, it's not really? coming out yet until next year. So, like, when it was first announced, he pre-ordered mm-hmm. it. And he's just been waiting on it. Why has uh, it been taking so long? Uh, Developers? I, I, do I look Great. like Square Enix? You know what? No, I'm you not could Square be. Yeah, Final Fantasy <laughs> 15. that's why, yo. Yeah. They worried about that game. I and all be. the other, like, they make so... So, Square Enix makes so many, like... 5.5, 5.7. Yeah. It's Final Fantasy 15.2. Like, <laughs> just get out of a new game. No Call of Point 2. It's so true. But wait, can we talk about the graphics in just that new level for Toy Story that they oh announced? Oh, my gosh. So, what? yeah, they announced. Yes. So, they announced. And this might entice Kevin. So, they announced a new level for Toy Story. Okay. Tell me intrigued. But. The cool thing is, is that the graphics for Toy Story look straight out of Pixar. Like, yeah. It looks like. Well, you know what? That makes sense. But yeah, like, John Lasseter, like, hey. Animate this for us. But like Toy Story 3 level. Like if you compare the first Toy Story graphics hey, to this be, one. Don't be dissing Toy Story 1. No, that's I'm like just saying graphics movie. wise. It, I mean, it's a fantastic story. I'm just saying. Like the no, graphics, graphics wise on the third one were so much better than the first one. Yeah, it just it's so incredible what they've done for just a video game. I wonder how to represent Andy like, like a monster. <laughs> or like, mm. when, well, like, the, when you, like will your controller rumble when he walks by? Right. See, now, Javi, you, so you've, have you played the other Kingdom Hearts games? I've played, I think, the first one a while so ago. That was, so the interesting thing is in the Kingdom Hearts gameplay trailer, I guess is what it was, Yeah. Um, 
it was all in the Japanese dub. So that's where Square Enix is based out of. Yep. Do they typically have the voice actors for the Disney characters reprise the roles in the games? It really depends, because I know for the most part, they'll get someone who sounds very similar, like to Tom Hanks. Uh-huh. Tom Hanks. Uh, but, but they, they won't get Tom Hanks. But they probably won't it's get Tom Hanks. Hanks. They don't have that Tom Hanks money. <laughs> they don't have that Tom you know who voices money. all the Tom Hanks stuff when he doesn't do it? Who? His brother. He's not really? just like him. Yeah. Oh, Colin Hanks? That's his son. Oh, that's his son? Dang. Oh. I, don't, I can't remember his brother's name. He's but, the one in the Because, like, imagine, <laughs> yeah. imagine, like, the cast that they would have to pull together, because they do this in uh, Kingdom Hearts. They look at all the, a lot of different Disney properties, mm-hmm. so, like the original Disney princess. And now they're adding Pixar. Yeah. Maybe some Marvel or Star Wars. That'd be really dope. Just saying. <laughs> when did the first one come out? Because I remember vaguely playing the first one, but it was a long time ago. Oh, they are typing away, which yes. means... <laughs> you know, we are a fact-checking machine. We are right. fact-checking. <laughs> you, you need a fact, we'll look it up. It'll only take like 10 right. minutes. But uh, <laughs> also, the... like. Part of the graphics thing was that they, uh, oh, one of the aspects that 2002. I like about, oh, 2002, oh, there you go. That I like about uh, Kingdom Hearts is that you have like these characters that are sort of like Final Fantasy ish crossovers. Um, I think like Sephiroth is probably one person who you see kind of like in both properties. See, I'm only there that. for the Disney characters. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really there for the Final Fantasy characters. So, but I also <laughs> want to buy a life size. Keyblade. So, if any of y'all know where I can cop one, I mean, well, of like metal quality, like good cosplay quality, let me know. Are you a cosplayer? I may or may not have the sword. I want to be a cosplayer, <laughs> I, but I, I do may, not have the money. I to may be or may not have the Itachi. I mean, I'm the Sasuke sword from Naruto Shippuden, life size, and an actual metal blade. But I that may or may not be a thing. I have a tomahawk. I don't, think that's what? Co- I don't think that's cosplaying. I think that's just uh, a no, weapon. I, I'm saying I have a tomahawk. Oh. So, Kevin, so before we started this podcast, and this is when I first get to meet Kevin, one of the first things I learned about Kevin is that he actually collects weapons, and he looks up weapon shops all like, the time. Do you Because I would love to talk to you, because I have a dagger, and I need, like, a matching broadsword for it. I bought Kane a cane sword. Oh, nice. Yeah. How much did that cost you? Uh, it's, it's on shop, it's only, only, like, 40 bucks. Yeah. Uh, we, shopping gonna, like we're gonna talk. we can't bring weapons in the studio either way, by the way. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to bring my sword in here. And I'm like, I probably should not do that. <laughs> Actually, they, they just announced a law in Texas that you, you openly carry a sword now in Texas. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Man. So you, you're like, oh, I'm going to move to Texas soon. Exactly. Mm. But Alex, what are you excited about? <laughs> um, are they, for Kingdom Hearts, going to have Wreck-It Ralph or uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet? Oh, the second uh, Wreck and Ralph movie, Ralph. Uh, I don't know, actually. I, I will say, if Ken Hart's we have Wreck and Ralph, I'm buying a game. Because <laughs> that would be that would be right. well, that technically would be a really that is good. a Disney property. That's not Pixar. Yeah, yeah, it so is a Disney they property. could do that. That would be interesting. But see, the cool thing is that Alex is wearing a, a tiara right now. <laughs> I found it in our closet. <laughs> Disney princesses, because because of Disney princesses, right? I do. Yeah. I want to be a Disney princess so badly. Uh, well, you are the crisis. Disney, Disney princess, because we cannot be Disney princess. I Before it was Javi. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Javi. Because Javi has the most slender hips. Jeez, oh, that's why. <laughs> uh, thank you. I love that. Take it as a compliment. <laughs> where did that go? Where did that go? <laughs> I don't know where that was going. But anyway, that's our Alex. podcast, Ping Pong Podcast, yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, speaking of Disney princesses. Almost all the Disney princesses like reconvened on D23, and I loved it. Did you see that photo? I did not, oh. but I need to. I, need to. I thought you okay. did with the tiara. You ah. got it. We got it. You got to show but it. But there is like all the alive Disney princesses. So yeah. I think Snow White and Cinderella could make it because you know. Let's see what happened was. <laughs> Let's see what happened was. They they, see, they can't get out the grave because they're not zombies. <laughs> um, but apparently in Wreck It Ralph two, which is you know one of the most beloved video game movies, sort of because yeah. it was animated the whole time. Um, they're having all the Disney princesses in it for some reason, which is sick. Yeah, like literally Mulan. Uh, so. Uh, there was uh, Moana, Tiana uh, from Princess and the Frog, Mulan. Uh, Moana from Moana, Mulan. There was uh, I think uh, Ariel, Ariel, the Frozen yeah. princesses, uh, yeah. Anna uh, and uh, Elsa, and Anna and Elsa, yeah. Anna and Elsa. Um, Tangled, Rapunzel, Tangled. Yes. Rapunzel, Mandy Moore was on there, yeah. yeah. And uh, I like I said, Ariel and Jasmine. Oh. Was yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, I did see this picture. They yes. weren't in costume. No, they were, no, they were oh normal wear. I did they see were, this That'd be weird if they're all in costume. Like, you don't look like, like that. Did everyone dress up as their um, character? But apparently, like, 
it's gonna be more app based, which is cool. Like mobile gaming, more yeah, modern based instead of out in the arcade. But that's sick. I'm excited because all those princesses are gonna be in that movie. And Sarah Silverman. Oh, and Sarah Silverman as a uh, the little girl. In the Vanilla B. Von Schweetz. Ah, that's I what had it is. <laughs> I had to look. It's hard to look at. It was tiny text. Um, oh, did I? Oh, I think I broke did the leg. I think I just broke it. Uh, I just broke. <laughs> I broke the new toy we got. Podcast over. Good. Podcast over. Podcast over. I need tape. Right now, stat. <laughs> that's what doctors say, right? Um, <laughs> tape. So, I need tape. Speaking of other movies in D twenty three, there was probably two bigger movies that were really the big deal at D twenty three, right, Kevin? Yeah. Um, Why you say that? Yeah. Like, 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 maybe. Sure. Like, like, maybe. Um, I like love Disney. Disney. Why is he for not me, so one of them, for Actually, three big movies. Sorry. Yeah, three. For, for, for one of them, for me, is really huge. Uh, can, can I talk about it real quick? Yeah, let's talk about yours. Let's talk about yours. They announced some some casting for Aladdin. Oh. Oh, yeah, they did. This and, was... Yeah. Oh. I forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that, that a lot of stuff happened. playing the genie for me is like, that's, that's great. Because Robin Williams is the genie, but yeah. if anybody can mm. do it... That's what you wanted too. Yeah. I think a couple of weeks ago we talked about that. I don't know who else could have did it. Honestly. Will he be singing? I hope so. He he, he he's not. You Unless know, like he raps. Uh, I mean, you had Emma Watson be. do singing in Beauty and the Beast, and it was all right. That but was pretty. Everything good. else, like he's our guest was great. But, you know, so yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, he's Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Come yeah. on, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, he breaks out rap. Ooh, he breaks yeah. out of rap. Ooh, Fresh Prince, come back. <laughs> and, if, <laughs> and if you remember, Jazzy if you remember the um. The be my guest scene from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. How it looked amazing visually. That was great. Yeah. Friend like me is going to be ridiculous when they when they do do all that. Wow! You know? Do you think they're going to CGI him or they're going to make him an actual act like person? I think they're, they're mocap him, kind of like they do the Hulk. Oh, okay. Oh. Cool. So I, he'll, he'll, or Beast. Or Beast. <laughs> or beast. <laughs> I love the picture of her walking down. No, the him just walking down. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I am Beast. <laughs> that song still makes me cry when she's leaving the castle, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Nevermore." What? I can't remember what the song was called. But when she's leaving the castle and he's out the window, like sit, watching her leave on the horse, and he's singing, I'm like, "Come back, Bill. Your dad'll be okay." <laughs> Kevin's Baby, crying by back. himself in the theater. <laughs> I know, right? He's <laughs> burning it off on me. Hoodie, are you okay over there? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it's one knee. It's uh. uh just to be clear, Crisis Crew. <laughs> Hoodie has oh. been trying to fix this thing. H- Hoodie also took out a member of the Crisis <laughs> Crew, so watch out. Our protector. <laughs> uh, only it only took five minutes on the podcast, and that's so. <laughs> Oh, we can't That's, have nice things. Mm. Anyway, uh, other movies. Actually, on the Pixar front, because Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, Incredibles 2, everybody. Woo-hoo! Finally. It's a real thing, and it's coming in 2018. That was awesome. Finally. Finally. I'm so excited. I'm Jobby stood up. Yo, yo. Honey, where's my super suit? Why do you need to know? <laughs> the city's in danger. June 15th, 2018 is when it's officially coming out. Hopefully no delays on that. So it's probably only already Amen. a third of the way. I am the yeah, greatest probably. movie you yeah. ever going to get. Um, they probably already have the voice acting done. Right? Pretty much, yeah. Um, the animating everyone's movie. returning besides the actor who played Dash because he just got a little too old, the voice uh, 10-year-old. R.I.P. I mean, like, not, the second not like right, right after the first movie, right? Yes, it'll be literally seconds. minutes. Yeah, I was about oh. seconds yeah. after the first movie where they tech the Underminer, Underminer. played by John Ratzenberger. Oh. His Pixar cat, uh, his Pixar, Pixar, his <laughs> Pixar ca- cameo. Dang it, cameo! <laughs> Kept saying category. I'm looking at the awards page still. That's what. Um, you can vote for us at podcastawards.com. Just to let you know. Slide Ooh, that, God, in right I there. that in right there. Hey, hey, um, <laughs> but. Apparently, so I guess the Underminer isn't going to be the big villain. They don't know who the big villain is, but they showed footage of uh, of Mr. Incredible discovering that Jack-Jack has his powers, and it was kind of cool. Jack-Jack Attack, which was like that bonus little <laughs> that footage. Was great. Yeah, the, so what he did at, with the babysitter. Yeah, yeah. it's what he did with the babysitter during the whole movie. was iconic and probably one of my favorite things to see. I want to be that babysitter. And by want to be, I mean you I am. You want to be Kari? I, I slightly am. Kari? I'm a part-time nanny, and sometimes Kari? I feel like I am her. <laughs> yeah, I remember when, when the first one came out, uh, my nephew was just kind of learning how to talk. He could hold a conversation. Uh-huh. We need something, but mm-hmm. that was about it. Yeah. He couldn't say dash, so he called him Fasty. Fasty? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that Fasty. <laughs> I like Fasty. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but apparently uh, the story's going to be focused more on Elastigirl, too. So, hey, you oh. know what? I'm kind of cool, because... That's awesome. You married Elastigirl <laughs> and got busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a, I, literally, that's the movie that 
only I think we've talked about this. Twenty and up year olds can only see. No yeah. one under twenty yeah. can see that movie. Yeah, don't do not bring your bad kids to the movie theater. Oh yeah, because I will sit them outside. I kind of felt the same way about Finding Dory because yeah, it was for kids, but I was like, this was for my age group. So if you yeah. bring kids that are gonna talk through this, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I waited a long time <laughs> to see if Frozone got his super suit again. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. The girl, I'm blanking on her name. Violet? Yes. Wow. Is her only, <laughs> that was great. Is her only power the force field? No, nah, she also can turn invisible. And she's probably got yes. more telekinetic okay. powers this time around. Because I, I remember from the first one, I'm like, so does she just put a shield over her thing? Is that it? Which is not a bad power. No, just basically wondering, the invisible like, woman. Are yeah. there more? Yeah. She's basically the invisible woman from Fantastic Four. Oh. Basically. Good, com- yeah. good comparison. And then, like, um,. Mr. Incredible is kind of like the Hulk, I mean, the thing, except thing. he's not all rock like. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic is the last girl. Yep. Um, but yeah, so Incredibles 2, 2018. But a movie that's coming in a couple of months. And then another movie that will be coming in 2018. <laughs> 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 there's a lot of movie what news. What a transition. T23. Uh, yeah, oh, and, and there's something else, too. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi, yes. oh, episode 8. It had a new trailer, but it wasn't a trailer trailer. It was behind the scenes trailer. Yes. Did you like it, Kevin? Yeah. Uh, uh, Kevin is notoriously the stickler for more than two trailers. I kind of like seeing Ray with the lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I actually ignited one. I was like, that's kind of cool. I like this. Yeah. I want some more of this. I, I did get a little Terry Allen Sakai Fisher. I was like, oh, Carrie. Uh, mm. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, no. Um, but are you guys worried that they, they did show two creatures that are kind of tiny? They're like, mm. any tiny creature that's in Star Wars, you're like, they're using this for merchandising, aren't they? <laughs> are you guys worried about that? Or are you like, eh. like, you know that there's a an animal that looks like mini Jabba the Hutt, but yeah, a little furry mini bird. Jabba. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's a what little my dog slug thing. Oh, no, no, just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there's like character. a little, like, looked like a cockroach little man. Yeah. It's also kind of like, like, like a wolf looking thing, too. Yeah, yeah. the robot ro- wolf. Yeah. The crystallis wolf. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So maybe- Makes me hype. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy. It's the Be chillest excited. hype ever. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I'm hyped. Yeah. That was fun. Just so you know, I'm hyped. Mm. <laughs> just, just gonna let you know right here, I'm hyped. <laughs> yeah, my secret is but that I'm always hyped. That comes in December. <laughs> Excited. It wasn't really a lot behind that. Uh, they did. Uh, Ron Howard. This is sort of outside D23. He's at, who is now the director of the Han Solo movie. Yeah. He's been teasing uh, images of on set, which has been sick. Uh, he's just like the dad you've always wanted. Donald Glover. Or just like, hey dad, can you show me some pictures from work? And he's like, here, here, kids, here's my work. Here's what I'm doing. That was such a dad selfie, like where he tried to put yeah. his, his head in between, <laughs> like the screen. Yeah. So in one of the footages, he actually showcased that footage, uh, the, the the image. Jai was talking about Donald Glover was shown as Lando Calrissian, yeah, and it here. looks good. Yeah. What do we have here? <laughs> Wait, I also love how he's taking pictures of the wardrobe, like the that. array of different colors that he's going to wear in this. Mm-hmm. He's going to look fabulous. Hey. It's all just KPI. Yeah. Lando be fab. Lando be fab. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag Lando be fab. <laughs> also, like how they're kind of talking about how this is going to be like a different Star Wars movie, Back to the Last Jedi. Yeah. It's going to be different than the other ones. It's gonna, still going to be Star Wars, but it's, that, it's a little different take on it. Which is great. Yeah. Little, just, just a little bit. A little, little, little darker. Mm. See how dark it gets. Hopefully the lightsabers light the way. <laughs> exactly. <Boo>. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, last but no. not least from D23, a lot of stuff happened at D23, actually. Yeah. And it was literally hours after we had finished recording the podcast. I know, it was right? always what happens. We finished the podcast and all this good stuff fact, happens. I'm, I'm going to go on IGN right now on this monitor. Yeah, I know. I just I popped it up. He was like, <laughs> just <laughs> in case yeah, something yeah, happened. Yeah, Everyone, everyone's uh, like, and uh, yeah. social media. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but... Also, at the same, ooh, they have Stranger Things toys. I want one of those. Give me that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, at the same time, the last thing at T23 that's probably most important is they showed off Avengers Infinity War footage for the first time. Oh, my god. And my gosh. goodness. Exactly. First, question, first question I have for all of you guys. Have, have, you, have you been able to find it yet? I, I, so I, the thing is, is that I think part of me is like, I just want them to officially release it before I like really go searching hard for this. Cause I want it, but I want you to release it officially. Please. Well, okay, yeah. So what's happening. So this is what's going to happen a lot with Comic-Con this week. If you've never experienced Comic-Con or it's just like, don't know what it is. Or if you're like <laughs> us, and you know everything about it. Um, they're going to show a lot of footage in the convention, in the event space, but it won't escape the event space unless someone records it on their phone. But then what's going to happen is on YouTube, you'll be like, 
you'll see new Guardian footage, new Avengers footage. You're like, oh, that's it. And then you get Rick Rolled. Do, 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 do not get Rick Rolled. Yeah, don't get Rick Rolled. <laughs> I've been Rick Rolled twice already. <laughs> I was like, ooh, five minutes. That sounds appropriate for some footage. From <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Never going to give you up. That's uh, honestly the best internet joke. <laughs> but we have, you know, we have a deep voice on this podcast, right, guys? Yes. Uh, oh, thanks, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and we figured, you know what? He's just as good as the announcer voice guy. So we're going to have our deep voice, a.k.a. Javi, announce what happened during the Infinity War trailer. So you ready, Javi? Yes, I am. All right. So deep voice, here's what happens in the first Infinity War trailer footage. It begins with the Guardians of the Galaxy in space. Suddenly, Thor crashes on the windshield of their spaceship and Rocket reacts like they have hit a giant bug. The Guardians then bring Thor into their ship and Mantis uses her power to wake him up. After Thor wakes up, an entertaining, who are you, moment ensues as the Guardians meet Thor for the first time. <laughs> so, if you didn't know what any of those characters were, you didn't know what Javi just said. Because <laughs> they're just like, oh, Thor, Rock, who's that? Who's that? So, good thing you know you're in the know because of us. <laughs> I know, right? The next scene in the trailer features Thor's better half, Loki. It is unclear if Loki's on Earth, but he is surrounded by rubble, offering up the Tesseract looking. Uh, looking intimidated there is a cut to peter parker on a bus and yes it's finally confirmed that he has spidey senses we see the guardians of the galaxy again but this time they're with tony stark preparing for battle thanos then delivers an epic line telling uh a terrified gamora fun isn't really something one considers when balancing the universe but this does put a smile on my face we get some action shots of, of star lord <laughs> fighting thanos and then doctor strange fighting thanos in the trailer spider-man's and iron and I, oops oh, i'm gonna try that again in the trailer spider-man's in the iron spider suit from spider-man homecoming trying to take on thanos yes. too there are quick shots of black panther fighting in wakanda the winter yes. soldier fighting among the ruins of earth yes. black widow on, with blonde hair yes. iron man in the hulkbuster suit Ooh. and captain america rocketing along Long, oh, oh, rocking a long beard. <laughs> Finally, we get Thanos pummeling the Avengers while the Guardians of the Galaxy lie defeated. Thanos grabs the Infinity Gauntlet and hurls a planet at Marvel's heroes, ending the trailer. Wow, that was okay? epic. <laughs> hey, can you just say Chocolate Rain for us one time? Chocolate Rain. No, sing Chocolate Rain oh. real quick. I forgot how it goes. Chocolate, chocolate rain. rain. Oh, chocolate rain. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Tate Dante, we got to run for your money now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Javi, for reading that. Deep Voice Javi right there. No problem. That should be your, like, your Twitter handle, Deep Voice Javi. Deep Voice Javi. I don't like Javi. he the respect on that whole reading. The, 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 the his voice. <laughs> but, <laughs> literally, all that, and I mean, we haven't seen it. We want to see it. That literally answers like everything. You're like, what's going on? Yes, yeah. Alex. Question. Is Loki really his better half? Uh, I think that may is have been a, subjective. I know. I was like, is that a good description for him? Uh, Thor's better half. Yeah. You mean his wife. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> Jane Foss? Yeah. No. But literally, you have Thor being introduced to the Guardians. And right. I think that's how they're going to bring the Guardians into the play is with Thor. Right. And I feel like the footage then like sh tells you where Ragnarok's going to yeah. end off. Yeah. Literally, they're like, Thor's going to be stranded in space. So you're like, okay, <laughs> sick. <laughs> Thor, Ragnarok, he's going to end off the planet somehow. We don't know how. Yep. But I feel like, how, how are they going to justify them throwing a planet at a planet? How are they going to stop oh, that? Oh, oh, I'll tell you why. They, they talk, <laughs> Josh, Josh Brolin, who's Thanos, said so. Uh, so it turns out, so Loki gets a Tesseract, which is one of the footage. That's one of the stones. Right. Turns out, apparently Thanos gets the power gem, or the power orb, yeah. which uh, is in Guard one. the first Guardians. No, that's the purple, purple one. one. In oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, I got you. I just corrected you. You're welcome. Just Ooh, kidding. Fact check. Sassy. Mm. Fact check. Remember, the purple means ravens. I love the ravens. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so apparently he has two of the gauntlets when he's, th or two of the stones in his gauntlet when he's throwing the planet. Mm. That's just two. No, There's like I six. Mean, I, I yeah. don't mean like how does he throw I mean how are they going to stop it? Oh, I don't know how yeah, they're gonna stop yeah. it. Uh -huh. Someone reaches up into the air. Well, apparently, it wasn't a. It's not a planet, but it's like parts of a planet. Oh, okay. Like a big old ass. I don't know where they're gonna be at. They're doing that. Maybe Doctor Strange World. 
<laughs> Dormammu. So do you, do you think? <laughs> and maybe, maybe that's how they beat him. Maybe he's, he puts him in Dormammu's world. And there that's, you go. Dormammu's mm-hmm. like a. Mm. Um, but then you have Spidey senses, which has been one complaint a lot of people have had about uh, the Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Is that he didn't have uh, Spidey senses? Yeah. He's got them now, or he's had them the whole time. He probably just didn't use them. Yeah, he had them yeah. in Civil War. Was that Karen? He did have them in Civil War. Yeah. What? Is Karen technically his Spidey senses? I guess so. Right now it is. <laughs> but then you also get him in <laughs> the Iron move. Spider suit. So it's like all awesome. that plot Whoa. thready hanging off of Spider-Man: Homecoming. Boom, we got you. I see what you did there, by the way. I see what you did. What? Also seeing the that um, Iron Man's yeah. going to have a a, a black suit in this one. Like a black suit highlight with red on it. Like, Ooh, that sounds, sounds stylish. Might be, a, might be a space suit. Oh. I just oh, want him to rock man. a black suit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like he rolls Johnny up with, with so Black happy, Panther. And then, and then nope. Captain America with a beard? Yes, please. Chris Evans? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I made Who's Alex babe, chuckle. That's all I'm here <laughs> for. I want this picture of him yet. Be- I think there is. There is, there is but there it's is, not really good. Yeah, it's, it's just heads right down. So you assume it's Chris Evans. Does he normally have a beard? Like in real life? Yeah, in real no. life he does. Like yes. This one's like, oh, like black. One. black. Goat beard. Like yeah. mine times like 20. Like Javi's times like 20. Yeah. Goat beard. Yes. You have the goat of beards. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Got him. All right, now it's time to, you know, that was our D23 coverage. D23. And before we head on to our Comic-Con and, you know, Game of Thrones at the end of the episode because we're doing Watch the Thrones now instead of our Crisis uh, DC check-in. Which, sure. which could happen soon, eventually. Yes. One day, maybe next week. They are filming. That's yeah, true. Barry has his hair cut again. Watching all the Supergirl Burr. picks going Burr. through. But Ooh. it's time to uh, clear the tables, because it's time to bring them out, bring them out. Oh, guys, we're getting, this time. we're getting so good at it now. I'm <laughs> proud of you guys. So bring them out is where we tell you all the things that are coming out this week that you should probably know or know about, or maybe even buy or get. Uh, with video games, movies, and sometimes TV, we're in the summer season, so not a lot of TV's premiering, really. Actually, there is one show, which we'll get to. So, <laughs> on the TV front, you have Sci-Fi's Live from Comic-Con, which is at 11 p.m. on Sci-Fi, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Yep. Um, so, literally, that is going to be Zachary Levi. Uh, you know him from Chuck. I think he's entangled. He's yeah. the main character. I love Chuck so much. He's so good. <laughs> I love Chuck. Literally, best buy. That was the best buy. Everyone knew Jesus Herbert. That's not the best buy. I love him so much. But uh, he will be hosting that. It's literally, uh, I think, end of the day footage of them recapping what happened on that day of Comic Con. So yeah. that's cool for us. I'll be asleep. Kevin will be asleep. So you two can watch it. <laughs> okay. I'll be asleep. Okay. Well, Javi can watch it. I'll be watching anime. But yeah. <laughs> I will record but, it. So that'll be tonight, later. and that'll be every day of Comic Con. So tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Zachary Levi, I'll get you a job. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. But then, on the video game front, we have this week that pretty much came out this week. We do all the video games that come out the Monday into today, I believe. The, the Sunday to Sunday. Sunday to Sunday. So, Orcs Must Die Unchained came out on July 18th on PS4. Um, that Orcs Must Die has been a game that's kind of like a... I don't know what you would say, but it's you got to kill all the orcs to win. So all right, well, <laughs> that makes sense. Go. Um then you also have Pokemon Chasm Crosser, which is coming out on July 18th as well, which apparently is a browser game. So I didn't know browser games got on this list. I know, right? <laughs> so it's like a Flash game. You know, hey, I got to cross that chasm. Go <laughs> get it. Um, also, we have out this week is Super Hot and Super Hot VR, which comes out tomorrow, July 21st, on the PS4 and PlayStation VR. Mm-hmm. So, Javi, there you go. Yeah, I Super Hot's supposed to be a really good game. It's uh, all first person, and it's like... Every time you move, uh, the scene moves. But if you move in reverse, the scene moves backwards. Oh, well, Javi's getting sick. So Javi's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna come in, like <laughs> just nauseous. <laughs> um, but it looks sick. Javi should definitely try that. Yep. If you, maybe buy a PlayStation VR, bud. Yeah. You got 400 bucks? Let me pull some no. money out of my pocket. <laughs> uh, I don't have that, but I'll, I'll figure out a way. In my dreams. <laughs> and then also uh, out this week on the Nintendo front, the Nintendo Switch Online app came out. Yesterday, uh-huh, and really bare thoughts. bones right now. Uh-huh. Um, I already downloaded it. Uh, there's nothing much on it because Splatoon 2 isn't out, but it comes out tomorrow, so expect an update on that app. Um, Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. It's supposed to be getting pretty good reviews. So if you like right. Splatoon, it'll be just like that. Call of Duty, but with paint instead of blood. Uh, oh. So there you go. <laughs> oh, no, I'm bleeding green paint. <laughs> oh, no. no. Shut up, you're out. You're no. out. You got green paint. You out. <laughs> no. But, yeah, so... Uh, that was video games front. And last but not least, on the movie front, we only do pretty much the biggest movie that's coming out this week. Yeah. 
Dunkirk came out comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Apparently they had a premiere that no one told us about that was literally right near the station. Yeah, that we could have gone to like, and it would have been great. It was like near the <laughs> one of the biggest museums. We're like, oh come on, man. Kid O'Shea was there. I'm like, dang kid. Like, like, what the much? heck? Nobody <laughs> could, no, to... no, no love. That's okay. We could have met Christopher Nolan, boys and girl. Ooh. Hey, thank you for Batman. <laughs> thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for Memento. <laughs> thank you for all these movies that we love, right? Yeah. One of my favorite it's directors okay. personally. It's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no Comic Con um, no. And so that was Everything that we are Bring them out Bring them out No I, 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 I mean like, like, like Are we, like are the, we bringing The correct out? grammar Is bringing them out but it it Bring them out Bring them out <laughs> Got it Bring them out Hey we got, we got good on the intro yeah, We just need to work on the outro yeah, For that there. We, we gotta start Coming together It's fine um, So We talked about that already Good oh, Good just Checking off everything We've talked about Because we've talked about a lot already Yeah But one thing I want to talk about for sure is who likes hotels? I do. Hotel, motel. Holiday. Oh. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Who also likes, you know, dressing up and cosplaying? Yes, if I can. Halloween, yes. Yes. Uh, I'll take I'll take a cosplay. Who I likes like Westworld? I whoa, I I do, but where is this going? <laughs> <laughs> who has seen Westworld? I have I seen have not. Westworld. <laughs> <laughs> so where is this going? Things got dark. So Star Wars and Disney are actually making the very first Star Wars hotel. Oh. It's going to be in Florida, and I believe LA as well. That will immerse you in the Star Wars world where you will become a character in the Star Wars universe. I thought this was a Westworld thing, and I was like, wait, what? It is sort of like a Westworld thing. So the entire hotel is themed Star Wars. So you get space food. You have to do space activities. You get a you get a description of your character in the Star Wars universe, and you have to wear Star Wars clothes the whole time. I'm down for this. 110%. I'm down for it. Percent. It's it's apparently right by the park, and I want it. All right, if we're going, I'm going to uh, the park. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be in the park all day. You guys have fun in the hotel. No, no, no. This is literally Disney thinking so smart. Hey, we'll we'll just get their money from them staying in the hotel. They yeah. go to the parks. <laughs> I don't think like you said space smart. food. Space food. <laughs> well, blue milk. Oh, we'll get blue milk. Real blue milk. Remember our blue milk we made? Say it, it was again. Not good. Uh, it wasn't our. It was our. But it'll be it good blue milk. <laughs> it'll be Disney blue milk. Disney yeah. magic. Blue milk. Question. Now, when can we make reservations? <laughs> so it's supposed to come out when the believe when the star wars land comes out in 2019 so probably 2019 ish probably the same time i would think they'd probably do it like way before because as soon as the day opens they're gonna be like, like give me that hotel all room. the people <laughs> all you know the it's probably gonna be like 400 bucks a night yeah, there but yeah <laughs> we'll split that room Someone can get the floor, right, yeah. guys? Fine. And girl, I'll yeah, I'll be down the floor. floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, and just everyone else takes the floor. And they no all, they all, everyone's yeah, we're all all all. I'm like, I'm having a great time in all three of these beds, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but get excited for that. I mean, that is my dream to become a Star Wars character. So that's the closest I'll be without being an actor. Well, you'll be in a Star a Wars sad. film one day. You'll be you in a Star be an Wars. Actor. I have, I have potential now because you know they're making more films. So. Yeah. Anytime I see Star Wars is filming, I'm like, huh? Yes. Did, did I, I, like I hear, that, casting? You did I hear casting call? <laughs> Ooh, uh, hello. My name's uh, Hoodie. I'm here. I like Star Wars. <laughs> Put me in a suit. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, since I'm excited for that, I think they're announcing a Marvel Park or Marvel Hotel as well, Kevin. In Paris. In Paris. Yeah, so Ooh, it's got to be far, far away. Money involved. They want you to travel. They know. I know. Nobody got money for that. Uh, I don't even know what it, what's that Disney Paris. <laughs> That's Disney Euro <laughs> Disney, right? Yeah. Well, I guess you can do do a bar system date on on the Simpsons and become a courier and go there for free. All right. And just figure it out after that. Yes, that's true. Right. And, and I will, there we go. I'll and, figure and, it out and, somehow. And, I don't know. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you made me say it. And then. <laughs> uh, also, an awesome thing, I actually forgot to say this in the Bring Him Out, is that this week starts the Destiny 2 beta. Yes. 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 Uh. Um, We've all uh, gotten codes to play start early. Um, it actually starts tomorrow for the public, for everyone yeah, else. This, but this we weekend, got yeah. early mm-hmm. codes because, you know, we played it at E3 and our boy Day. Here we go. He was like, hey, you guys want to play it earlier? Yes. We did, and I, we've all liked it. Yeah. Uh, we were all supposed to play different characters. But we did not, uh, we did did not communicate <laughs> very well. There's, th- there's three main classes in Destiny. There's a Titan, a Warlock, and a Hunter. All three of us picked Titan for some reason. The Titan looks the coolest. He looks yeah. the coolest. He looks, uh, I mean, like for real. But Bungie uh, is in Beta. Literally, it's sick because you get to be in 
Story mode, you get to uh, apparently be in the social space of the farm um, for a little bit of time, which I haven't gotten there yet. Have you guys? Okay, no. no. Um, and you also get multiplayer maps the whole time. Yep. It opens officially on July 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so it'll be... At 10, 11, 1 o'clock on, on Eastern Coast time. <laughs> Do the quick math. It's all right. Um, but I, I had fun. I played only the story mission. Uh, I don't get the story, yeah. I played both story and I went online. Yeah. Um, I completely forgot the controls, so it was fun remembering. I was like, oh, man, he has this power. He's got a grenade. That's sick. Oh, he made an ice wall. Right. <laughs> oh, you brand the builder? Get it? Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's an online version? Yes. So so yeah. there's a oh. campaign, and the, oh, it's pretty much a, an, an online experience, but it has a story built in for single player. Yeah. So you can play with your friends the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can have a, a can strike that. team of three, um, yeah. and all three. That's why golden, golden three right here. Yeah, I get um, it. You can go in and do strikes. <laughs> yes, oh, Alex. I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. <laughs> um, I, well, I you have to wait till tomorrow I when the when the beta starts for everybody. Okay. You know we got perks as being a podcast. I gotta say, yeah. I haven't played a FPS since Halo Three. Oh really? Yeah. So I was like, oh crap, for gym gonna suck. I was like, this is fun. Oh, I mean, I'm, like, it was I'm winning. <laughs> I'm not dying at all. Oh no, I died. Oh no. Yeah, Kevin texted me literally last night at like seven o'clock when I was eating dinner. Hey, I'm doing great. I yeah, only died right. twice right now. I, I was like, all right. I was like, I wasn't okay. expecting you to play yet, but good for you. And I but don't feel sick. <laughs> Yo, that's the key. That's the key. Um, but if you saw the footage or played it, I think when they did their first live stream for the game, um, it actually goes a little bit past that. So it's yes. kind of cool. You're like, oh, get a little bit more. I like this. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Javi. What did you think about the multiplayer? Uh, I enjoyed it, um, especially coming off of like the story mode. I was like, okay, now I've oriented myself with the controls. Although my brother sat there and I like asked him, I'm like, oh wait, how do you do this again? And he was like, you know, it's it's pretty simple. You'll figure it out. And I was like, great. That's not the answer to my question. And then you lost. <laughs> and then I, and then I died. <laughs> but uh, when I was online, I played like as a titan, and like I was doing. All right, uh, but I realized that overall my skills are trash no. compared to some other oh, people. Because it, it's a part in the story mode where you actually play with other people. Like, yeah. That, oh, that was part of the story mode. I thought. Yeah. That, so there's a part in the so in the beta. It's a little spoilery if you like your betas. Uh, where like, like a horror mode. Two movie random movie. people. Yeah. Like it was just two random people, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, it's when you were defending the gates yes. or whatever, they joined Somebody you. I thought those were two mode. real people. Oh, man, that's part of the mission. Dang it. Well, no, 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 they, they, they were, were real, real people. people. Oh, those were real people. Were real yeah. Dang, that's that was sick. Really, that was really cool. And I'm, I'm shooting, like, I'm helping out, but I'm, I'm watching them, like, just jump up in the air and hover. I'm like, I want to do what you do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm no good at this game. I'm just going to keep helping out, though. Somebody, <laughs> like, ran and, like, distracted the enemies. I said, yes, my friend. Exactly. Get them to stop shooting me. I was like, get them. <laughs> get them all. Although, they like, while you're defending the gates, like, uh, I guess one of the characters puts up a shield several times yeah. and each time I was just too far away to get back he's like I'm putting up a shield it's up get behind me and I'm like wait say that again what <laughs> and well, then I blow I up would. and die <laughs> but I loved it it was I fun. loved it uh, so Javi we, we all now have decided that we each will be different characters yes uh, starting today so Javi and I will actually replay the story mode <laughs> yeah. uh, so Kevin you're gonna be uh I think I'm gonna go through one more time with the Titan because now that I watched a YouTube video of it today, and now so I'm you know like, how to play it. No, I switch weapons now, so now I want to. So. Uh, Kevin will <laughs> officially be a Titan. Javi, you will be a. I'm excited to be a warlock, and I'm gonna be a hunter. Hey, hey. and I'm Alex, going... what are you gonna be? I'm gonna be here. No, oh, 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 you it's have okay. Done. Alex, you get to pick whatever you want. Then we'll have two of that thing. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be a Disney I'm gonna be princess. A Titan today. <laughs> Disney yeah, I'll be a hunter tomorrow, and I'll be a warlock on Saturday. There you go. Yeah, but you when the game comes out officially on September 6, you are gonna be a Titan. I don't know what I'm going to do now. You will be a Titan. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm asking because now. No, no. Before, you will I, be a I, I wasn't, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't really planning on getting Destiny. I was going to get Anthem. Mm -hmm. Now I have to get both. I'm like, what am I going to do all my time? Like, I'm a, I'm a father. I'm going to, I have a life. Oh, you're you going to bring her and play Destiny. And be like, man, you love space battles, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You're going to sit there and you be like, you're going to sit right here and you're going to learn how to play Destiny. <laughs> you're going to learn. We got to attack them, them aliens. They got to go down. She likes Mass Effect. When I, when I play Mass Effect, she'll watch it like intently. Like, what's going on? That's how she learns her fine yeah. motor skills. You like put the <laughs> controller in her hand and you're like, all right, this is what you do. And meanwhile, she's trying to take it from hands. me now. It's crazy. <laughs> Daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so the beta is this week. You actually get to go in the social space of the farm with like, I think, up to 20 people. Yep. Uh, live players on July 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then the beta ends on July 23rd at 12 a.m., so technically July 24th. Yeah. Um, so get to playing on beta, and so far, I don't know if it carries over to the main game or if it's separate, but hey, it's more it's Destiny. Yeah, it's fun, too. It's oh, fun. A lot of fun. 
But yeah, we're looking forward to that. That'll be in September when we actually get to play that yeah. real game. That'll be good. Be I cool. wish everyone had seen the j- uh, like jig. I did a good jig. It was a good jig. <laughs> you remember um, hoodie with that good jig. Thank you. Your new name. And then, last but not least, before we do our Watch the Throne, there's a little like thing I like to call it's happening this week. of uh, uh, That's happening in San Diego. Oh, oh, what? Wait. I, th- I, think it's, I think it's called... Uh, Is it important? The zoo? I think it... And Kevin's going to keep crying, but that's okay. Is it the zoo? It's called uh, a Comic-Con. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, San Diego Comic Con wow. literally starts wow. today. The preview night was last night, uh, which, you know, as you know, we were invited to Comic Con, but unfortunately we couldn't go because we didn't have the means to get there. Hopefully next year we're still on the list. We so yeah. And Alex can come too. Yes, yeah. Alex. We'll put you on the list. You know I was so mad, even though I didn't have the means for it. Like, I got into the lottery of getting tickets, but it went to my spam folder. But see, mm. now you're on the press side, so I, you can get like, you in now. Three days later, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not like oh, this. That was Stop. But Comic Con is where you get to see all these new TV shows, movies. Uh, pretty much a little bit of everything. Yeah. Bit um, of everything. Get I think, I think uh, comics, obviously. Activision has, has a booth there. And there is video games for Call of Duty. They're actually yeah, announcing yeah. zombies modes, zombie mode. Yeah. Uh, I think today, actually, yeah. in one of the panels hosted by Greg Miller, they're announcing uh, Telltale Games, which actually just got leaked. Uh, they're doing Tell The Walking Dead, the final season, Wolf Among Us 2, Batman, Enemy Within. I'm sick. I'm excited for those. <laughs> I'm the Telltale guy here. Um and then they also have, you know, the DC panel for Justice League and then our favorite shows from the DC Universe. Hey-o. Flash. <laughs> Javi knows the theme song. Oh, that's the theme yep, song. That's it. Yeah, that, and then that was it. You may have Marvel stuff. I know they are doing stuff on the Defenders. I don't know about Infinity War. But oh, okay. I mean, I'm excited. We yeah, want Infinity War. Now. Um, but one thing I want to know about you guys is because it starts today and it's the real first day. What is something you want announced at Comic Con this week or a year, technically? Um, who's ready to go first? Oh, I'll go first. Okay. Go. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so personally, uh, I Star Wars probably won't get announced. Oh, also Game of Thrones is going to be there. I Yay. forgot about that. Um, oh. I hope they won't they won't show anything for Game of Thrones the final season cuz that's dumb. They yeah. just have you watch the episode. Right. Um I personally am excited for for <laughs> what? Keep, keep you hanging on my words for the Telltale panel. Okay. Um pretty much I mean we know everything about Justice League, we know everything about Marvel, but the Telltale games, we got a quick trailer yesterday. I think it was because of the preview night. Batman, the new Batman game which comes out in August, which is really like Three weeks from now? Yeah. Or two weeks? I don't even know. Um, it looks sick. You got the Riddler and the Joker, the main bad guys in that one. Nice. Like, ooh, that's a good tandem right there. Um, Wolf Among Us 2 has been a game that people have wanted for like three years when it first came out. Um, it's about based on fables. I don't know if you guys know about the, that series. It's yeah. where all the the folklore like and fairy tales. Fables? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, all of them come to life and live in New York City. And oh, the hey. big bad wolf is the sheriff. Yeah. So like once upon a time, but good. Yes, but good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no offense to once upon a time. Or uh, is there offense? Mm. Little offense? <laughs> okay. Little, little. A pick offense. <laughs> uh, and then they announced the final season of Telltale The Walking Dead. And like, mm, Clementine, I got you, girl. That's the main character in the game. But, okay. Um, but I'm excited because Telltale, you know what? You come out strong. Good for you. First day of Comic-Con. Tell great yeah. tales. All right. Now, who wants to go next? Uh, I can go next. All right, Javi. Uh, something I'm excited for is a, a little uh, little film coming out next year. It's called uh, oh, wow. Predator. Predator? Whatever the Predator Predator 2? Something Predator Predator? Predator. Like, <laughs> it's like The Predator. Something like that. A Predator. A, yeah, a Predator. There was Any, a Predator. Anyway, it's the third <laughs> Predator film. Um, and I'm excited for that. I mean, I'm a fan of the first Predator. Uh, I I did not watch all of the second Predator myself, but uh, I'm excited to see kind of like some more film from it, and hopefully I'll get a trailer to get a better idea of what this uh, this film's going to be about. It's starring, like, it has Keegan-Michael Key hey. and uh, uh, Michael Tr- uh, Tremblay, whoever the young boy oh, yeah. in uh, Room was. Mm-hmm. In he's, he's, gonna oh, so he's gonna die. We're gonna watch Michael Chimbley die. No, uh, we're, gonna wa- he gonna we're gonna watch no, no. Key die for sure. It's yeah. gonna be sad. Uh, I think the actor who plays Theon Greyjoy is in it. Uh, additionally, so uh, like the cast is kind of a little exciting, and I'm I want to see more. You know, for that that whole like I want to say genre of movies has such a strong fan base, but the, all their movies aren't great. I think that's kind of funny. So true. 
Like Predator One was great. Predator Two was uh. Yeah. And then the rest of them in between there were AVP. Yeah, AVP was like what? Predators. Predator, Predators actually wasn't that so bad. This is the fourth Predator movie. Oh yeah, yeah it is the fourth Predator because yeah. the other one had Adrian Brody. I we totally got forgot you. about it. We got but you. this one is called The Predator, and uh, yeah. I'm excited. I, I want to see I some more about. Oh, Olivia one. Munn is also in it. Oh, she's gonna die too, man. That's gonna be sad. I love Olivia, Olivia Two of my Munn. Favorite yeah. actors are gonna die. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That, I'm not gonna see that movie because I like them and I, I don't still want seen them. I've the first one. Actually. <laughs> really? The very first part. I never really? Seen it. Yeah. Of Arnold? Yeah. Get to the job. Kill me now. Do it. Come on. Yeah. Do it. Kill do me it. now. Mm. So that's, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully, getting a little more information on. And then Kevin and Alex. Who goes first? So I am sorry, Kevin. I didn't mean to jump on you. Ladies first. So I am mostly excited for the Supergirl panel because before I had watched, like, I've been watching Comic-Con for years, but I just watched them randomly because I didn't really know Ooh, nerd. Yeah, nerdy like, yeah, news, yeah, I like. sounds fun. Right. But now that I've, like, watched the show and, like, know who the people are, I'm more excited. But I just saw that mon is going to be on the Supergirl panel. Ooh. And I oh, so I'm gonna have a know crush if I'm excited Mon-El. for that because I'm like Mon- not a big oh, fan no, of his. Ooh. Not Chris Wood, the actor. He's pretty cool. Yeah. And the actors are pretty cool. Oh, the character mon Yeah. Okay. mon was adorable itself. last season. He's so cute. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can <laughs> anyway. On that one. But yeah, they're gonna have all pretty much all the DC shows: Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legend of War, and Black Lightning are gonna be having something at Comic Con. So you know we're gonna post those trailers for sure. You think Definitely. they're gonna have a combined one like they did for the Paley Fest? Ooh, oh, we've got Legends of Tomorrow too. Probably, actually, that'd yeah, be pretty cool. Be a good idea. Hmm. Uh, because it comes down to me now. Uh, so I think I oh, am most looking forward to and excited about one more Justice League trailer. Yeah, and I want to see two things in it. Mm-hmm. I want to see a quick. I don't want. To, I don't need to see him in all his glory. I need to see a quick shot of Superman. Just a quick shot. No, just the dust rising. That's all I need. Honestly, even just just a flash of the S. That's all I need to see. I don't need to see him in general. But if you remember when they first started promoting this movie, it said Unite the Seven, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, if you look at the poster, it's Superman, Flash, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman. That's six. Yeah. Who's the seventh? Ooh. I want to see Green Lantern. I want to see Green Lantern. Do you think they're keeping one hero under wraps for this long? Why not? If they haven't cast him, they don't have to do so or anything. I think they, mm. they might, they're, but they're not going to put him in the trailer. Like he's going to like if it is Green Lantern, I see it being like a very small like cameo. Well, I, I want to see something like here's a his Justice League panel and uh, why is my my, my Shira Ali out there? Oh yeah, I'm John Stewart. What? Uh, what? <laughs> like, yeah, if Mahershala, oh, if Mahershala Ali would yeah. be uh, John Stewart. I'd be. Or like, like why? Why is um I don't know name my actor. Oh yeah, I'm playing um Hal Jordan. What? Oh, true. You know, nobody, nobody told us that. If only Chris Pine. Surprise. If only Chris they, Pine. They, they haven't really. That I mean, the only reason you know that Harry Cavill is in the movie now because you, you just know Harry Cavill is in the movie. Yeah. But they, they haven't outright said it. You know, they haven't they haven't shown any any kind of footage of Superman at, at all. Right. They don't need to because they're like, if they do, they're, we might ruin this. <laughs> yeah, ruin that them. too. So maybe they keep this on the wraps too. So I'm hoping to see maybe a Green Lantern announcement or yeah. a, a seventh member. I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, crap, what's his name? Uh, actor from Arrow. Uh, Holly? Yeah. Stephen Amell? He's there. What if, what if he's a seventh? I mean, Ooh. Just, I'm just hanging saying. out in the background. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, hey, hey, guess what? My Arrow's in the movie. And so am I. All right. <laughs> Between, what if they, would you be mad if they just brought up like someone who said, oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to be playing Martian Manhunter. Well, they're the actually thinking it could either be um, Green Lantern, Shazam, maybe it's Mira. Could oh, be Mira. Because she is in, we know she is in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I would prefer Green Arrow. That's just saying. Whatever. Yeah. Or Zatanna or Martian Manhunter. Okay. They're saying maybe Lex Luthor for some reason, but unite the seven. <laughs> he actually became a Justice League member in the comics, so they yeah. could do that. And they also could, they could it could be Nightwing because they already announced a Nightwing movie. Mm-hmm. They have, I don't think they've casted him yet, or at least they haven't told us they casted him yet. So Ooh. I mean, okay. it could be a lot of a lot of people. So I, I want to see the, who is who is the seventh member of, of Justice League. They're saying that Scott Eastwood has been cast in the film, but I think they're saying he might be. There's a chance he could be Oliver Queen. Interesting. Wait. Wait, Ooh. quick question though. Actually, Wait. false. That was false. That is that is a lie. This is an old rumor. Oliver Queen in Suicide Squad. That's a lie. Yeah, he was, was not Oliver Queen in Suicide <laughs> Squad. I was about to say. Wait no. a second. Wasn't he in Suicide Squad as yeah. somebody else? Yeah. So that's what I want to see. WB. I want to see who's the seventh member. Seventh member of Justice League. Hmm. I kind of love that the guy who is Aquaman is called Drago. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Jason Momoa is a see? man's man. And now Alex knows who that is. She cares about Aquaman. So you're yeah. welcome. Yeah. We helped you with that. You know what he does in his free that time? that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know what Jason Momoa does in his free time? He drinks a beer and throws axes. Yes. He's that's a man. why he looks like that. He's a man's man. <laughs> He's literally a boss. <laughs> that is why he looks like that. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
I want to. I want to be a man like Jason Momoa one day. Yeah. I want to be like you. <laughs> I want to be like you. <laughs> and Javi, you said there was breaking news apparently from Comic Con. Yeah, because the doors A have just opened. <laughs> um, so you can see there are several things already starting to pop up on the interwebs. Uh, but uh, this is a throwback to last week's episode. Uh, the Saw trailer <laughs> just dropped. What? <laughs> yeah, what? the Saw trailer <laughs> just dropped, and I'm like, I'm sort of watching this a little bit, and I'm terrified. So were like, we just talking about this last week? Yeah, and like in the opening <laughs> shots, like some woman is jogging and people are staring behind her and there's somebody hanging from a tree. Yeah, she gonna Nothing. die. She gonna die. She gonna die. Like this is terrifying. So things are already happening, y'all. Also and Pokemon I'm excited. News. Not about the Saw movie though. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen Pokemon Go news, hoodie? Oh yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. In uh, in our little transition news, so Pokemon Go, the lot of dudes I think it's surrounding San Diego Comic Con because yeah. they were in in it last year. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, and on new Nintendo, a lot of breaking news, guys. That's why we have yeah. our phones on, <laughs> right? I, uh, I got another one there's too. There's <laughs> a new Nintendo trademark filing that gives hope for a Nintendo 64 classic. Apparently, if they're trademarking for some games, what yeah. you got over there with your breaking news? Uh, yeah. Sci-Fi's Krypton gets an explosive new trailer. Ooh, oh man, oh, Sci-Fi is going. What, like, what, yeah. what is happening? <laughs> also have over here legendary Pokemon are coming to Pokemon Go. Ah! <laughs> Comic-Con! Oh my god! Why are we not there? There we go! This oh my so god! Stressful. Am... <laughs> the stress level in here went from 0 to 60 real, real quick. Fast. It's like, no, you cover that. No, you cover that. Oh my goodness! Oh. There's space Pokemon Go on my phone right now. <laughs> yeah, apparently apparently, I, I saw a mention of it that it's supposed to be next weekend the first legendary is approaching. They didn't say which one it is. They keep showing the trailer with Lugia in it. Okay. From Johto, the gold and silver Pokemon. Yeah, um, but hey, oh, you get that legend. Maybe it's Mewtwo, so you can complete your 150 finally. Oh, Mewtwo. Ooh. It's Mewtwo. I mean, you want Mew? Is that who you want? Two. Oh, Mewtwo and Mew. Ooh. Call, it's a never, two for one. Exactly. Two for. <laughs> but yeah, Comic Con's happening. <laughs> it's happening right <laughs> it's now, happening. everybody. Um, and also, apparently, they're announcing two DC movies uh, this week as well at Comic Con. That'll be 2020. What do you think they're going to be, real quick? Wonder Woman 2. And Batman. Batman, boom. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, what was it? Sh- not the Shazam movie or the Shazam or the Black Lightning Black movie? Adam. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The Rock is Black Adam. Yeah. That, like, I think it's going to be that movie. Hold on. The Rock needs to sit down for a bit. He's been doing too much. <laughs> nah, a little he- breather. <laughs> take, take a look. Yeah. I'd like to let everyone know that every person besides me is like Yeah, the Shazam. There's so many news right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, and Kingsman got a trailer today too, Ooh. man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the Shazam movie because, uh, according to a source on Twitter, who I tend to believe this uh, guy has some solid scoops, says so the Shazam movie is set to start production in February 2018. Um, details are hoping to arise here at SDCC. 2018 is a packed year. Yeah. They so, got some stuff going on. They have Nintendo there at San Diego. We're learning so much. Nintendo Video games are at San Diego Comic Con. We repeat, video games are there. <laughs> <laughs> this is no longer a coherent podcast. It's just us throwing Anyway, back out. on track. I'm it's sorry. Twitter, it's, it's, it's a breaking Twitter feed, right, Twitter feed right now. <laughs> um, so... As we know, our new show has premiered. Well, not new show, but a new season of our favorite show has premiered. Yes. And we've all watched it very diligent, diligently now, what, what including Alex. Right, Alex? Yeah. It's time <laughs> to sit down and turn on that TV behind you, Kevin, because we're watching the throne. watching the throne. Don't let me get in my zone. Okay. Watch that throne. <laughs> that it's was good. Boy. I like that. All right. That, there we go. You two have the intro for that one. Dun, dun, we decided dun. that right now. Remember that. Oh, and because it's J for Jobby. I get it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and K for, Ke- for Kanye oh, Kevin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got J and Yay. <laughs> oh, you have the same initials, Kanye West. I do. Oh, Yeezy. This is the most breaking Kev Yeezy. podcast. <laughs> We're learning things about each other on this podcast. I'm proud of us, guys. This is our team bonding still podcast. <laughs> the new but, day. So, Alex, we're going to start with you because you've actually finally committed. I have. You are watching what? I am watching Game of Thrones. Yeah! Yeah, first step is acceptance. Welcome to the show. And admitting it. Up to 204. Season two? Uh, okay. Yes. And how do you like it so far? Well... Be so, nice. You're still in good times. See, the thing is, like, <laughs> you're when things are nice, I'm having some trouble with it because I know a lot of the stuff that happens. Oh. Like when, spoiler, we're like way past this anyway. But when Ned died, I was like, okay, ah. Ned's dead. Ah. <laughs> Which I know is like a really bad feeling, but 
I had already been told that in like years oh. past, so mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, that's when that happens. But apparently the good part happens at the end of season two, or early season three. So No. Pow- no. <laughs> it gets it, so much worse. Gets- oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Powering through. Yes. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't get good till the end of last season. I also, that's when it got good again. I also was watching it without Dothraki subtitles, so I had to infer by facial expressions. That's an incredible thing. I, it, I that's like, incredible. Hmm. Khaleesi looks mad. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Cal Drogo mad. looks happy while eating food. Yeah. <laughs> that must be good food. And then yelling, don't know. Don't know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> but are you going to keep going? Yeah. Good. You wait to the certain wedding. The red yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You get ready. Season and a half to go for you. Oh my gosh! I'm, I did it. Like I started Saturday, so I'm I proud of you. Like I'll be there. You, the wa- we gave her a task, and Alex is accomplishing it. Keep I chucking. Am. Realistically, <laughs> just, just, just know that there's no hope until literally season six. After, like right now, you're in the. No you hope might see world. some hope. There's gonna be there a little shimmer of hope. Like, ooh and yeah! Oh, really ooh yeah! Oh. I don't see much hope. <laughs> no, no hope actually. Yeah, Not no at hope. all. A certain, a certain guy still has his hand. Right now? Okay, well, Kevin, you don't spoil it for her now. I said right. a guy. I didn't tell you who. I mean. <laughs> and then for the rest of us who have actually seen the new season of Game of Thrones. Oh, yes, yes, the room yes, before... yes. I'm just going in the corner. It's fine. Right. Yeah. We told Javi to go in the corner when we watched Flash. It's time for you to go in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, gentlemen. Yes. Were you amazed? Uh Hashtag winner is here, am I right? Ha- oh, hashtag winner is here. Hashtag make sure you follow us and because we live tweeted when it happened. <laughs> and I had to take over this weekend. It was great. Oh, Jai's going to be taking over for every week now. I had to shut, was really shut down my entire Twitter. I was like, I am watching season yes. one. So I we like the one. live tweet shows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's at infinite underscore pods, where you too can vote for us for the podcast awards at podcastawards.com. Bada bang. Um, but... Javi is our tweeter, tweeter, ma- Twitter master for Game of Thrones because Kevin and I do it for all the DC shows, and we just need a break. Um, we just need a break. Um, but and then, now we got another show to tweet. I just realized that. What? We have five shows to tweet now. Five, so many shows. I can do so no, many no, shows. Four, because she can do. Oh, there we go. Supergirl. Wonder I can do Supergirl, Supergirl on my yeah, own personal ones, so I can just, just do it on the other one. All right, so <laughs> we need another person to take over Black Lightning. We just need to get more people. <laughs> we have a seven man seven podcast. person podcast. Oh, right. yeah, Hold on. <laughs> just all this t- mumbling. Do you want to work? Amazement? Yes, I was going to say, Arya with that opening, though. Oh, my gosh. That cold o- so, it was a cold opening. Get it? Because winter is here. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you just get it? Oh. Dad joke. Oh. And they, they never do that, either. That's, that's, that's so surprising. It was good, though. Right. They never do cold openings. I was like, whoa. What's mm. happening? This must be serious. <laughs> Boss move. Boss. Uh, top. Definitely one of the top five moves in the whole series, if not top three. Is she the bad guy now? Nah. She <laughs> is no. the... I'm the bad guy. We're the bad guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was no remorse on this. Um, let's like, just let's so we'll try to do spoiler free because you know Alex hasn't seen it as much, and a lot of yeah. people a lot of people wait until the next week's episode because I caught up on the last two, like I re we watched them. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> this is a good Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, but favorite scene from this week's episode. The final scene. <laughs> the final one. That was my favorite scene actually. My okay, so my favorite sort of like scene. Can I do like sort of scenes? Because yes, yeah, so you can get two. Okay, because it's sort of it's specifically Sam at uh, what is that? The Citadel. Oh yes, yes, yes. Old Town. Oh yeah, Old Town. Specifically because you like the poop scene. No, well, I mean, like Ooh. the poop scene was kind of. That was, was a little rough. That was it a was realistic rough. scene. It, it, went, it, it was too real, and it all blended together like. Ooh, what the heck? I thought they were gonna make a beat with it, but I. But <laughs> those are my favorite. Game of Thrones beat. <laughs> They're my favorite scenes because so many things and theories popped out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when like people were going back through and like taking freeze frames of the book that he was reading and when he was going through the hallway and he met a certain person in a jail cell yes um there were just so many small pieces to nitpick and look at that help project and have theories for where this season is going to go mm-hmm. i like that was why i ended up loving that so much mm-hmm. um but yeah no outside of that uh arya stark with that with that beginning mm. also i thought she was going to kill a certain singer she when like like she had like this look in his eye when she was sitting next to a certain that, person. That, that, that's a spoiler. Is that, there, I don't everybody know if that knows was he was spoiler, on the show. Right? Everybody knows he's on the show. Mm. Ed Sheeran was on the show. Everybody knows that. Yes. Okay. If, if she if she had stood Ed Sheeran's throat, I'd have been no more good. Ed Sheeran on the show. Yeah. But what about you, Hoodie? What did you uh? What did you um, like? my favorite scene. 
Hmm. Would probably be Lady Mormont. Thank you. So you're gonna know. You might have seen it. She's this, this little girl. She's she's the l- l- whatever a female lord of the house is. I thought you said lord. Lady Marmalade. She's the lo- Lady Marmalade. House, house Mormont. Hor- she's the lord or she's the ruler of House Mormont. Yeah. And she's like ten years old, but she brings so much sass. She's like, ooh, girl, tell them. She's like, they they say we don't want women fighting for and she's for us in the war against the the villains. I won't spoil that. Yeah, um, the villains. And she's the like, war against the villains. I can fight any bit better than any other man. <laughs> I will not make any clothes. I will fight. It was like, oh yes, like, Lady I'm Mormont. Not gonna, I'm not gonna sit at home while you all do this. Mm. We know who should really be on the Iron Throne, Lady Mormont. I see you. You. It's been, it's been no issue. Like she she had everything. Everything's fine. Mm. Right. Everything's good. Game of Thrones <laughs> season one. Uh, Lady Mormont is now on the throne. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm excited for this week. Apparently, there's rumors on. Uh, so, you have you has, has Arya lost her wolf? Yes. So good, we can tell you that. So that's season one, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So there are rumors that. So in the new trailer, so we can talk about this because it might not happen. Theory, uh, speculation is that Arya comes face to face with a wolf. Many are thinking that's it's her wolf Nymeria. Yes. That's like that's like the second one when second she bites Joffrey. She, and yeah, it bite the her dog also, her dog her wolf. Yeah. I'm trying to find wolf. the non curse word for what Joffrey is. <laughs> oh oh yes, you will uh, yeah. uh, you will say that many yeah. more times. The yeah. sad part is scum. Jobs not, not the worst part of the show. Oh, you wait. That's the sad part about it. Mm. <laughs> he's like he's like he's like the worst for the first couple of seasons. And he's then, a Disney villain compared and then, to, yeah, to and the then people you on the meet show. Some really nasty people, and you're just like Joffrey was bad, but you, my friend, are just you're the, the devil. Pits. I just really like Tyrion. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good yeah, look. That's really a good like start. That's right a good there. like. That's a good like. Yeah, yeah. But I'm excited for this week. Yeah. Uh, it's more Game of Thrones than this. I mean, even because all the way the episode ended, where you know she. She makes landfall. She goes into her home, and there's no dialogue. There's no dialogue. Oh, it's whatsoever. just so quiet, and it's like, mm, this is nice. Yeah. These are the longer ones, right? Like the eighty. Minutes? This one was like uh, so. This one was uh, an hour and ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I think from oh, wow, it's weird that there's only six more episodes. To I know, think right? About that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think the last two are both eighty minute. I think the one they just get longer and longer. Oh my gosh! But I love that line of the episode. She was like, I'm never "Okay, gonna get sleep." Yeah. No. See, this is this is the one thing that like I love, but I also hate about Game of Thrones is that it's on once a week, and it takes up now about an hour and a half of my life visually on TV. But then for the rest of the week, it like is just on my brain as I scour the internet for theories, and like and I got now since it's on during the summertime, there's nothing else to watch. Yeah, it's just there's it, nothing else to watch it's besides just it. Literally on my brain for the <laughs> remainder of the week. If it makes you feel any better, 16 million people are along with you. So. <laughs> I mean, it does make you feel a lot better. You have someone to talk to about it. <laughs> Only one person after the 16 million. Now there's a rumor about um, Sansa. Oh, her hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, I saw annoying. that rumor. I saw that. Oh, Wait, she's yeah. annoying the whole season. So it's so she's serious. Annoying. So you get ready for that. She gets a little bit. Wait, did you... I, I'm, did you get the uh, the rumor about, in the book, the dagger? No. The cat's paw? No, I didn't see that one. So, oh, I'm I don't, think, I don't think she's there yet. So yeah. we'll wait for that. We'll wait for that. Are any of you guys reading these books? Because no. they're no. long. No. I don't read books. I don't read books. <laughs> this isn't a book podcast. <laughs> I read books, not that book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk to you. I want to talk to you about it after. Oh, we'll talk about it after. Yeah. But sadly, it's about time, and you know, Comic Con's happening. We have to see it, uh, as you know. Yeah. But if you want to see the whole panel schedule, uh, just make sure you go to Infinite Underscore Pods. We'll make sure we include that in our rundown of everything that was on this episode in our links to infinity. Um, apparently today is the Inhumans panel, and then tomorrow is, I believe, the Defenders panel, as well as Rick and Morty, and Robot Chicken, if you're still in Robot Chicken, and so the Walking cool. Dead panel, <laughs> and then Saturday is the uh, Riverdale, CW panels, essentially, Yeah. Uh, for Simpsons as do well, you guys watch Riverdale? Krypton, Star Trek as well, no, I do not. I heard okay, good things, but I thought about it. it. But <laughs> I'm going to save all of you some time. Stick around to our Twitter at Infinite Underscore Pods. Uh, we'll make sure we post tons of links and articles and videos to everything that goes on at that you need to know about. Trailers for sure. 
Bo yep. Show. Bo Show. Um, as well as just our commentary of what's going on, right? Yep. And then Javi's going to wrap it up on Sunday with uh, live tweeting of Game of Thrones again. You know it, Javi. Uh, takeover. Javi's yeah. takeover. Hashtag Javi takeover. Javi takeover. But once again, like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are nominated for what, guys? Ow, ow. A podcast award. The podcast awards, my friend Javi. Oh, oh the podcast the So we're nominated for the podcast awards. Ooh. Um just two saying, seconds of your life. Uh, two seconds of your life. Just vote. you know, just go to podcastawards.com, yeah. sign up and vote as many times as you want. We're in the game and hobby One section. More time, Kevin. And you know how awesome that would be to have an award, just to be like, hey, we're gonna put, we're gonna let you borrow it for two days, yeah. but then bring it back because we want it. It's exactly. like a li- we're a library of a, one award. That'd be nice. <laughs> Please don't take it. <laughs> Please don't take it. Yeah. But we are now on Google Play. We're on iTunes. We're on iHeart. Make sure you like and subscribe to us on all those platforms. So you can let everyone that your friends with know about us. Because hey, if they see that they take your phone for a picture and they're like, "What's this podcast you keep listening to?" They're gonna want to listen to it too. Oh. Yeah. That's the best podcast in the world. But, yes. So, stick. have an awesome weekend. Enjoy Comic-Con. If you're going, you're not going. Just watch it on Twitter like we are. (laughs) My name is Hoodie. I'm Kevin. I'm Javi. And I'm Alex. And live from the Crisis Cave, you just listened to the 39th episode of Crisis on Infinite Podcasts.